insult anyone, but it would almost appear, or I'd be skeptical, but I'd say that probably some lawyer probably figured out that, hey, I can engage the selectmen in buying the place, take them to executive session so that they can't talk to the planning board, and now the planning board gets asked, and voila, we, we have this situation with it. Right? That's just the politics of it. I'd like to you know, second everybody else that's had the same concerns. Right? The traffic is a big deal, a very big deal, if it's 250 people. Mm -hmm. right? that, that's a lot of traffic. I've got a million questions from my legislators to find out who pays for all this. You folks should also have asked you know, how many ambulance calls are you expecting at this methadone Security. clinic? How many Security. police calls Security. are we expecting at this thing? There's a lot that goes on with these. And for you to sit there and say, well, you know, we didn't have any questions that needed to come to the town isn't really fair because you all read the paper. And every time there's a methadone clinic, it's everywhere in the paper. Everybody has a very strong opinion. And you all have the obligation to make sure that this doesn't go through without thorough discussion. And right now, it smells like, it sounds like, if I understand correctly, you, you issued, you signed the agreement. Is that correct? We, 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 you signed, signed the agreement the knowing what it was because you felt, I assume, that you know, it fits in the standard and that the planning board should do due diligence to make sure that this thing fits within our rules. And it sounds like they may have done that not knowing the, 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 the facts. And they didn't know the facts because the planning board was still bound by executive session, which they, they should have, the planning board should, in my opinion, have said, hey, wait, we cannot let the planning board act on this if we know information that we know has to get to them before they can make a thorough discussion. So, I mean, in my opinion, this is, you know, I don't know the law, but it certainly seems completely illegal for this thing to go sailing through because of, you know, what I would say one possibility is that some lawyer realized that if I get these guys in this corner, they can't talk to these guys, and these guys won't know what the hell I'm doing, and therefore they'll approve it. So I respectfully request that, you know, some moratorium be put on so that the town has provided some insight as to what avenues do we have. I'm with this lady, right? <laughs> these folks need this. I don't want it in my backyard. That's, that's my personal opinion. But if it has to be in my backyard, then I fully expect everybody in this room to do everything possible to make sure that the Definitely. village is not affected by this, you know, this is just a terrible thing to do with a small village like that. Right, 256 cars with a lot of people that have a questionable ability to drive are going to be going down onto Route 90. If I have my way, you'll never see a car come out of that place again toward Main Street. Right? That's just obscene to think that all of that traffic would come up to Main Street. So. I just respectfully ask that you do everything you can to find out what session you can create so at least the moratorium's created and this group can really be offered the insights so that at least you understand all of our concerns so that we can, you know, my opinion, kill it. But if not, make sure that the most suitable. Thank you.